Hi, this is Catch a Square. It's a brain training game. You begin with a welcome screen where you're asked to type in your name. So I'm going to type in my son's name, Ian. He's played this a few times for me as a tester. Click go. And your goal is to click on a square. You'll notice that there's a score displayed as well as the time remaining and that your score increases if you hit a square but decreases if you click one of these other objects. And if you hit too many of the distractors too many times, then they will disappear. So I'll keep trying to get him. Come on. A bell rings when you touch a square. And if you have a handheld device, it buzzes when you hit one of the distractor objects. There's actually a total of uh, four additional distractor objects. And if you do a good job, then you see more and more of them. And if you don't, then you see fewer of them. There's two key um, code blocks I'd like to point out. One is the increase challenge block. And this actually has a, a set of uh, two different types of if statements. One is an exclusive if that um, changes the timer interval on one of the clocks in the game so that the game speeds up with increasing scores by the player. The second is a uh, nested if that as your score increases you reveal additional distractor squares. So first green, then pink, then blue, then orange. There is a second clock in the game and that clock is what is used to run the game clock. So initially the timer enabled is set to false and once the game is initiated then it's set to true that it start, so that it starts to tick. It's set at an interval of 1000 milliseconds or one second so that with a starting value of 30 on the countdown um, we have a 30 second range of gameplay that time ticks down one at a time until we get to the end and then we use our tiny db to compare our score to our highest score for a particular player and if the player has achieved a new high score that is stored in the database along uh, with the date and time. So that is Catch a Square. It is a brain training game and I hope you think it's fun. I sure do.